Step 1 is to find and print your pattern. Step 2 is to mark your pattern so you're not confused. Step 3, pick your fabrics. Step 4, prepare your binding strips. I cut them into two and a half inches, line them up like this, right sides together, uh, trim the corners, and then I iron them. While you're at it, iron all the creases out of the rest of your fabric. Now for the confusing part, the piecing. Make sure that you put your paper on the back side of your pattern, wrong side facing the pattern. From there you're going to put the next piece right side together to the piece that's on the back of the pattern. This does work better if you use bigger pieces of fabric than the little triangles that you're trying to piece together. With your fabric lined up along the sewing line, sew with very fine stitches. This will make ripping the fabric off later easier. Make sure that you flip the fabric over and hold it up to the light so you can see if it's covering your entire pattern. In this example, mine is not. Once you get your first two pieces sewn together, you'll have to flip over the paper pattern and trim off your seam allowance. Make sure you keep your second piece tucked underneath though, otherwise you'll accidentally trim it too. Now you can flip it over and sort of finger press this seam and get ready to attach your next piece. So flip your pattern back over, put your next piece so that the last piece and this piece are right side together and you can see the seam allowance. Line them up and sew them together. And then flip the second piece over the right way, hold it up to the light and make sure it covered the pattern. Remember to pull your paper pattern back and trim your seam allowance and then finger press the pieces together before adding your next piece. Once you get them all pieced together, it's time to trim on the dotted lines around the pattern. Once your trimming is done, flip it over and you can see what it looks like. Notice that it looks opposite from your pattern. This is confusing to some people. Leave the paper attached to your pieces and set them aside. Once I have the pieces made to form a sort of horizontal seam, I start joining that group together. I lay them out like this so that I don't get confused and then I put them right side together and sew along the solid line. Again, this can be confusing because it's actually opposite of what you see on your original pattern. I continue sewing my pieces together and then when I get another horizontal line I join them together again until everything is all joined into one final product. That's when I remove the paper. Okay, the hard part is done. Now I square up the sides, put some batting in there and uh, a fabric for the back side. I sew on my binding. There's lots of tutorials for doing binding. I'm not going to cover that here. And then when I'm all done, I have a fancy paper-pieced mug rug. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.